what was the sweetest thing someone did for me for Valentine's Day? Oh, I know. I got a George Foreman grill for Valentine's Day. I mean, I, it was better than flowers, I guess. It's the thought that counts. Hi, everyone. I am back and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina Victoria and I am a beauty expert and educator and owner of the Pretty Bar Makeup Lounge. We entered into the month of February and in the month of February you all know that it's the month of celebrating sweetheart Valentine's Day. I decided to do a two look series for Valentine's date night. If you would like to see how I achieve this Valentine's Day glam keep watching. To save on time, I've already done my brows and my foundation, so we are going to get started with the eyes first. The first thing I'm going to do is take my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 01. I've never used this product before, but here it goes. I'm going to just take a pea size with a flat shader brush, and I'm just going to place this base all over my eyelid everywhere I want to put the eyeshadow okay so this does dry very quickly so you have to work fast I'm going to take my fluffy blending brush and blend some of that product out Today I am going to be working out of my Morphe Jacqueline Hill Palette, the Volume 2, because does this not say Valentine's? I'm going to be taking the shade here called Perfectionist with my fluffy blending brush, double tap, and just going all over my eyelid, just in the crease area. Okay, to intensify the look, I'm just going to go in there with a deeper color called Thick Skin. It's about two to three shades darker than the first initial color we laid down. And I'm just going to go on the outer corners. Okay, I'm pretty happy with what I have. I have the Masquerade Palette by Juvia's Place and we are going to grab this chocolate brown Fulani is the shade name so with that I'm gonna grab a pencil brush and just take that color and put it right on in the crease and then blend it on out. And I do have, I guess you would say a hooded eyelid or an eyelid with some folds in it. So what I like to do is just bring it above those folds. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking this shimmery sparkly color called Ride or Diamonds. Okay, so that's perfect for Valentine. <laughs> Hopefully somebody will be getting diamonds for valentine's day i'm gonna spray my brush this is elf this is like a rose water i couldn't make it to ulta so i just went to target and i picked this up i'm just gonna spray my brush a few times i mean i like it don't get me wrong but i do love rose water so with this flat shader brush I am going to pat that color on the lower lid area. Look what I found. I found my rose water. Okay, let's do this again. I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush a few times. Pick that same color up and just pat it on the lid. Something in me wants to go back into this crease and intensify it. Don't do it, Gina. Just, just leave it be. Leave it as is. Don't be extra today. No, I'm not even. Or should I? 
Okay, what the heck? I've decided I'm going to intensify it just a little bit with this color called Crazy. And I'm just going to go in on the outer corner. And intensify it just a little bit. Blend those colors up. Okay, with the pencil brush, what we did to the top, we're going to do to the bottom. So take that perfectionist color with the pencil brush. And I'm just going to go underneath. Then back into the thick skin. Then that Fulani from the Juvia's Place palette. So my battery died. So the step that I did not get on camera was taking a black eyeliner. And this is NYX Eye Pencil in the shade Black Shimmer. So it's a regular black eyeliner, but it does have like specks of silver sparkle in here. And I did just underline my waterline with this and then secondly I took a small angled brush and with a black eyeshadow and this is called temptress I went ahead and lined my upper eyelid area So using this dome shape brush, I'm just gonna go into my first Jaclyn Hill palette. This thing is dusty. This whole thing has been my ride or die. My go-to palette for everything. So I'm just gonna put this underneath my brow bone as a highlighter shade. Blend that out. I'm just going to coat my eyelashes. I always get the question, do I apply mascara before or after my lash application? And honestly, it's preference. I like to do it before when I have a lot of eyeshadow fallout. But when I have like clients who have really long lashes, I like to do it afterwards so I can marry their natural lashes with the false lashes. So I have quite a few lashes to pick from. Do I want to be extra, extra, or just extra? I'll just be extra today. I just picked these up from my local beauty supply store. They're not too full. My favorite lash glue duo. I love the black one. So my lashes was put on off camera. Okay, so our next step is our highlighter. We're going to be using Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Conceited. I'm just going to apply it to the top of my cheekbones. I like to put it on my cupid's bone. We can go ahead and just add some fun in our inner corner of our eyelid. We're going to put that diamond glow powder in the corner. I'm going to take these selfies when I get finished. And I'm going to bed. So the next thing I'm going to do is take some blushes. Hmm. I'm going to go with this one right here this is from the brand la film i have to leave the shade color down in the description box now these things are so potent you have to be careful so we're gonna start from the hairline to the cheekbone okay so my favorite Part of a makeup application is picking a lip color because the possibilities are endless. We can go with the nude. We can go with some color. I have NYX Cabaret 
lip liner and then I have MAC cork so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips with the cabaret first and I'm gonna go in with that cork and I'm just gonna fill my lips in let's try this color here I think it's sis and it's a matte palette so I have this lip gloss from Eris Cosmetics it's a local cosmetic company black owned in Kansas City I bought this lip gloss I'm gonna leave the shade down in the description I've never used it before but I've been wanting to okay let's spray our face I am using morphe continuous spray okay that is it for the look I'm gonna fix my hair get dressed and I'll be right back okay that is it for the look I went ahead I did my hair changed my earrings out to some rhinestone hoop earrings a basic but cute top I envisioned wearing to maybe the movies or getting a few drinks and some appetizers you know something light but you still want to be cute jazzy and fancy at the same time this is the look for you so if you want to see date night number two make sure you leave a comment down below and do not forget to like comment and share and I will see you all next week bye bye